guys what's up it's your girl dedicated diva and i'm back with another homeschooling podcast slash video if you're on my blog or on my youtube channel welcome 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 guys now basically i wanted to make this video because i've been running into a lot of parents that's on facebook that's been kind of really trying to well it really sounds like they have been pressuring their kids to you know, do work or do things a certain way. And it's basically, are you pressuring your little ones too much, you know, to do the whole homeschooling thing? The homeschooling is all fine and dandy. And my kids are going by just fine. Now, we do the whole class connect things where they talk to their teachers in the morning times and they have work that they have to complete. Now, my son's work sometimes, they it has to be done within, I would say, two or three hours from his last class. No, it's not even two or three hours. It's maybe like an hour and 30 minutes from when his last class was. And see if too many teachers want to do that. He have five classes he have to go to every single day. And so three of those teachers at least have it where he has to do something. And if those three teachers have assignment assignments that's due by the end of the day, their time, it can kind of put a little bit of pressure on them. And so if you don't know if you're pressuring them or not, some things to think about is are you forcing them to complete work are you comparing them to other children maybe it's other children in the family maybe it be their siblings or other children that's you know doing the whole homeschooling thing do your students seems like they're less excited when it comes to you know getting up for classes and doing homework and do you find yourself getting frustrated with them over the little bit of nothing when it comes to completing work or, you know, getting them to focus? And do or like, do you find yourself wondering if it was a good idea in the first beginning to be homeschooled? If you have any of these questions, you're probably putting too much pressure either on yourself and in return is making you put pressure on your little one now i know myself in the beginning when it was only my son before my daughter even started school he was attending the home school and guys i will kid you not it was horrible they would give so much work and they went from scheduling the work every day to saying that so much has to be done by that Friday. Guys, it was completely horrible. And I found myself pressuring him too much. So that's what made me switch him over to the, the K12.com. And so we do a public tuition free school through K12. And it's been working out just fine. But if you're finding yourself where you're forcing them to do something or they don't seem as happy or as soon as you call their name and it has anything to do with doing any work, they seem like they're not excited or they don't want to do it. Nine times out of ten, somewhere pressure is being applied. And so it's up to you as their learning coach and their, as their parents or guardians to kind of help them with that pressure. And different ways that you can help them with their pressure if they're going to homeschool is if they have teachers or instructors talk their t talk to their teachers and their instructors on you know thinking of ways to either lighten up the coursework or telling them that you all will have it done by a certain time because you know the child is going through something now if it's one of the traditional homeschools and you basically doing it with your child alone and there's no type of instructor or teacher or anything like that just ease up a little bit because you can't pressure anyone to do anything that they don't want to do and if your child end up losing or you know your student end up losing sight of what really needs to be done and what they're doing it for they are never want to do it again and see, a lot of people feel like after they push 
that child so much and that child don't want to do homeschooling no more, then you want to send them back to a regular brick and mortar school. But guess what? If they're losing interest and they're at home, that means they're really not going to pay any attention in school because now they have all the other kids around them doing something totally different. So they're just going to fail all together. And then you are the reason why that child is failing at what they're doing. So just find ways to get around it. If Or if you're finding that your child is not as motivated to pay attention anymore start finding fun things to do and maybe you could watch educational youtube videos or you can have movie night just find some way to take the whole learning thing away because you have to notice that Just like if you're like me and you're working from home, sometimes you just get tired of the same situation all the time. So find ways to do movie nights in other rooms. Find ways to, if you have a laptop, close it down. Um, Let your child go and get on their Xbox. Um, Sit back and talk to them. Watch television with them. Talk to them. It's so many other ways to take so much of the pressure off of them. It's so important because if you think about you yourself now and the way that you have to deal with pressure it's 10 times harder for them we've been here for a while they haven't so if you can find ways and no one knows your child better than you if you can find ways to relieve some of the pressure off of your child that's just what you do because homeschooling is not bad and i know i understand some people can do it and some people can't But I see it like it's best that you put all that effort into your child and take that pressure off. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe for more homeschooling videos. And I will see you guys in another video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Thank you.